You remember that build video I did a couple videos ago with the Fractal North and the 5800X3D paired with the 4070Ti? I revealed it to my roommate and he loved it. And if you haven't seen that video, check it out in the corner there. And it has been so great, except for this week where it exploded. Let me explain. It was a regular Tuesday afternoon. Monday's fires were put out and I had no meetings for the rest of the day, which meant I had all day to focus on my task for this sprint. This particular task had me stringing together SQL and parameterizing it along the way. My focus was razor sharp and I was making sure to stay plenty hydrated. My focus was ripped for me suddenly when I heard a loud at first I thought it was my cat knocking over something, which is pretty typical. So I went to investigate and my roommate comes out of his room a little disoriented. And I'm like, what was that noise? And he was like, that was my PC. I headed downstairs to the power panel, locating it and flipping the switch where literally nothing happened. It stayed in place. So I unplugged the PC, brought it downstairs and I plugged in an old power supply to get the system powered to see what was working and what wasn't. I couldn't make a determination, so now it became a game of taking it apart piece by piece and figuring out what was potentially damaged and what was working. This Corsair controller is very stuck on here for some reason, but I think this has a problem. What wasn't a problem was telling you that this video is not sponsored and I funded it with my own money. So if you'd like to show your support, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe if you would like to do so. Despite this sounding like an audio clip that was ripped directly from the grudge, the main goal here was to take off the AIO and replace it with an air cooler that I knew was reliable with the purpose of testing the critical components on the actual motherboard, like the motherboard itself, the CPU and the RAM, as well as the SSD. I just wanted to make sure that those critical components were in working order. So I just kind of left the AIO in there to hang while I tested those. I'm using my trusty thermal take that I've had for about 10 years now to once again use in this system for testing these components. I'm also throwing in this RTX 2080 because I don't want to put in the 4070 Ti just yet in case it's damaged itself, but I also need to be able to test the graphics since the 5800X3D doesn't have onboard graphics. It was now time to test the critical components, and luckily the system did post, meaning that the issues were isolated to the power supply or worse, the graphics card. At this point, I was just doing a physical examination of the power supply to see if there was any damage. One thing to note, never open the power supply because it can literally kill you. I opened up my laptop and went to Thermaltake's RMA website where I then clicked the support page, accepted the terms and conditions, and filled out the RMA service form. I then got the busted power supply packaged up for shipping, and because the system isn't mine, I went ahead and got another power supply. It's the same exact power supply except the 850 watt version of it, and I really like it because it's gold rated, it has plenty of modular cables, and it has the 12 pin graphics card connector. It also has a 10 year warranty, which is great for situations just like this where the power supply failed. I just tidied up the cables here, and then the big test. Will it post with the 4070 Ti? And it does, meaning the graphics card was unharmed. Despite this power supply failing after only two years of use, I really do think this is a well-constructed power supply. Power supply failures are rough on systems, and oftentimes the surge in voltage will spread to other components, frying them completely, which can obviously be very expensive. That did not happen in this case, and I have no doubt it's because of the safety systems built into this power supply. I hope you never have to experience something like this for yourself, but if you do, I hope that this video serves in some way as a way to diagnose the issue. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. That's all I have for you today, and I'll see you in the next one.